Hi, it's Amy and Tim with Go With Less. And so today's show is going to be mostly Amy's show. So most of them are mostly Amy's show, Amy's show. But uh, today she's going to spend quite a bit of time discussing house sitting. So I'm just going to set it up and then hand it off to her. So the reason house sitting is very important to our lifestyle is it allows us to travel inex very inexpensively to amazing places. And so uh, the reason it may be interesting to you is number one, if you own a pet and you need somebody to watch your pet when you travel, it'd for be great. free. It would be fantastic for that. And then likewise, if it travels something you care about at all, this might be a way that you can add some very inexpensive accommodations um, to your travel plans. And so with that, I'll hand it over to Amy. Fabulous. I'm gonna talk uh, just briefly about how, so we had a pet who died about five years ago, just over five years ago, still awful. And we weren't going to get a new pet. So we knew we would have this travel in our life and it didn't make sense to get a new pet because I had separation anxiety from the dog versus the, she didn't have the separation separation anxiety. She had her I own did. issues though. She had her own issues. But, um, and so I didn't, I wasn't okay leaving her behind. And so I did um, have house sitters that I paid come and watch her. I paid a decent amount for that and it was worth it. It was yep. peace of mind and I could travel. Well, now there are sites that this is for like traveling people. So it's billed sort of as like a vacation for free. Sure. We don't agree with that. And we think that that is completely setting up expectations, like not okay. So we want to kind of talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly with house sitting. Um, for us, we absolutely love it, but it's yep. not 100% roses. And so we'll talk about Nor that for briefly. everybody. Right. And so, but what, when we're talking about house sitting, this is not like a business, a part-time job, a side hustle. That's not what this is. This is a way, this is a tool in our travel box. So just like we have points and miles, just like Airbnb and vacation rentals have given us opportunities to stay like a local or to stay for free with our points. This has opened up the world of affordability that we go stay affordable accommodations when we're traveling we go and stay at a another person's home most of the time all of ours have had pets like at least 90 percent of them have had pets and so uh, so we go watch their pets they don't pay us we don't pay them we all meet on a website and everyone is strangers by the way so we meet on a website we have tons of references we have a great profile it's kind of like a dating profile we created a video and uh, and so the but i'm gonna even give like how we even found out about it so one of our absolute favorite travel podcasts is is called Extra Pack of Peanuts. If you're into frugal travel, download them because it's a husband-wife team. They're just wonderful. Yeah. And we and it's the only thing that Tim, me, and our daughter can really enjoy in the car without They any. love beer. I love beer. They love traveling affordably and they're obsessed with food and gelato and who wouldn't love some of these things? So so we love them like super duper. And so we heard, they so they don't do a lot of house sitting, but in one episode, maybe like in one episode, they talked about a house that they did in Breckenridge, Colorado that had a beautiful car and a beautiful home. Breckenridge is beautiful. We live in the Amazing. same state, and um, and so th and this is all free. And so that kind of like oh, what what's that all about? So I went and looked at the site, and as soon as I retired in April, Tim and I got started with a local sit that June. Ironically, after we just sold our big giant behemoth of a house, we went and watched this enormous two thousand square foot designer 2000. phenomenal two thousand oh twenty. It was no, big. Oh, a big 10, house. It wasn't 10, it was 10 square foot. It was, it a big was so house. huge. We couldn't even count how many bathrooms there were. We have Every... watched a 10,000 square foot house. This one wasn't 10,000. It was so foot. big. It was like a bazillion square feet. How's that? A bazillion. Like more right. than, than you could imagine. And uh, and beautiful. The woman uh, is a decorator, so the house was beautiful. Yes. The dogs were two labs that looked like my dog a little bit and so sweet and loving. This was, and They were easygoing, the owners and the dogs. The house was gorgeous. So it kind of reinforced. It was nice that we could stay but it would be have the reinforcement that we don't want to own it and deal with all the hassles that come right. with this big giant house p.s we watched the house four times because we enjoyed it so much but anyway it got us started off on this house sitting and that was that june and the reason why we did that we would prefer to be when we're in the denver home area we want to be in our home That's we right. travel a lot we miss our bed we miss our shower we miss our stuff like i'll be honest we miss our stuff we miss our routine we miss being the two miles away from the gym with a routine that we like there so we're not really looking to do 
Denver area house sits. However, we think that they're very important when we do them through this site because we get references from like verified Just owners. Building credibility. Yeah, building credibility. Just like Amazon.com, you have like a verified purchase yeah. and the, the author can't write a gazillion. Or eBay or Airbnb yeah. or anything. It's like any a verified purchase. That's right. This has the same thing. So someone who is on the site reviewed us, that shows up. And it turns out that we have done maybe 12 or so More, unique families. So not even repeat sets, like about 12 of them. And last Christmas we were in San Diego. So we'll talk about some of this coming up. But last Christmas we were in San Diego. Last summer we were in Santa Barbara for amazing pets, amazing homes, amazing owners, amazing situations. And it is very different than a vacation. It's very much a win-win situation. So they win, 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 and I'll well, say the third win. So. All right, so the two wins that I know about, and I probably know about the third as well, but so is that we get to stay there for free, and the, the their win is they have somebody watching their pets for free. And so, like Amy said, we used to pay to have somebody watch our pets. What's and the third, the third is that the pets keep their routine. There you go. So we're not, this isn't like when we're going to go out and do 12-hour busy, busy, busy. This isn't what we do with house-sitting. So when we are house-sitting, we're laying home a little bit, so we need to watch 60 films before Ooh. July. July 31st yep. we're gonna probably watch a whole bunch of those from a three and a half week house sit in France just kind of chilling out in France so when we do house sits we look at it like we live here and that's really nice and so just like Airbnb kind of gives that local experience this takes it to a whole new level you're at the dog park you're in a, in a house usually so it, there's there's all kinds of situations but we wanted to talk about that because we got our start to house sitting right after we moved into our house after I was retired Tim was still working and so that June of 2014, off we go with our house sitting. So that's going to factor into our life over the next, like it has for the past three years, but now it's going to be really exciting where we are today moving forward. Yeah, I was going to say, so one of the things, so last year for, we went to 10 countries? Is that right? 10, not countries, 10, not 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 trips. 10 destinations, including two or three two countries, two different countries. <laughs> and so, and only spent $9,000 for all those trips. And so house sitting factored in that to a little bit a little bit and so i think it's going to factor into our budget our travel budget this year but it's primarily house sitting is about reducing our travel budget it's one of our passions we do it a lot last and year and i love pets and we like, love it so it's just yeah. it's all around a finan uh, fi fantastic thing for easy us for you to say. easy for me to say that's exactly right so and that so yeah amy and i could talk about this topic for hours so the fact that we're at seven and a half minutes yeah, and I'm not, and is, there are uh, resources up the wazoo there are. so there are facebook groups yep. and some of the lessons we didn't have to learn the hard way so we learned a couple of them and we got better with each one but i'm in, in very very involved with a couple phenomenal uh people who do this full time and groups of of thousands and tens of thousands of people maybe like fifteen thousand people huge groups and so so it's really nice to have this big community but uh that's kind of like we're moving along our our how we retired in our our 40s being careful about how much money we spend traveling allows it so we want to travel more and we'll be cheaper when we take those trips we don't have to be frugal on every trip but we don't want to spend that much so that we can get out and travel more so uh so house sitting kind of comes into that story it's like a side side story and then we're back into the story tomorrow yeah, and not only can we talk about it for hours we would love to talk about it for hours <laughs> right so we questions we you, really are into this ask us questions below <laughs> please we would love to answer all your questions and so we would love some engagement just uh any, anything you're interested in asking about house sitting uh, we would love to answer, or Amy would love to answer those questions. I'll, I'll, I'll chime in here and there. But and we, I'll put some would... links into the YouTube right. notes, so please make sure that you check those out. One of them is a discount for the biggest site in the world, which is the only site that we're using right now. So check it out. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Subscribe down below. Please. Give us a thumbs up if this is something please. that's even moderately okay with you, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.